a very good morning children how are you all i hope you are really doing good okay so today we are going to see a new lesson right that is from the fifth unit the three spinning woman the three spinning woman a very nice story okay so it's a lesson from the grim fairy tales right so you might have uh, seen the grim fairy tales because i was a fan of grim fairy tales uh, when i was of your age i basically completed the maximum book there are some 100 stories in that so not exactly of 5th and all so for in the 6th and 7th and all i completed the whole book very very nice stories and also very very interesting stories and all so you can find in that particular book so uh, it's very important for you to understand the story and also so that you can have to write the questions here right comprehension here so it's not like a story but also make sure that you listen very carefully with most concentration okay so now if you have textbooks and all come to the page number 84 come to the page number 84 okay so the three spinning woman the three spinning woman once upon a time they lived a lazy girl she hated spinning and though her mother wanted her to help she would not she just would not spin One day, her mother got so angry and impatient at her that she started beating the girl. Upon which the girl began to cry loudly. So, here we are talking about a girl, right? And once upon a time, there was a lazy girl who was not very active. Laziness is not very active. Okay, so basically, in every house there will be a lazy person. So, laziness is not that particular, not, not not that active. So. and what what is okay what her mother used to do is she used to spin okay she used to take the cotton or the flax and all she used to spin into the thread and all okay so but now this girl she disliked the spinning she never spun okay she never uh, helped her mother so her mother like you no know, she wanted her to help her mother wanted always the girl to help her but whereas this girl will never do the spinning at all so one day her mother got very angry Are yeah, I'm asking you to help me and all, and you're not actually helping me. So she got a very great angry, angry in the sense here irritation. Okay, angry in the sense here irritation, and uh, she bit the girl. She bit the girl. So when she bit the girl, the girl like you no, know, because she had a got, she got repeated uh, beatings and also she started crying very loudly. She started crying very very loudly. So come to the page number eighty five. Next paragraph. It so happened that at that very time the queen was driving by. Upon hearing the cries of the girl, she ordered her carriage to stop. So simultaneously, what happened is at the same time, at the very uh, same time, a queen was passing by. A queen was passing by that particular way and all. And now she heard the cries of the girl. She heard the cries of the girl, and she immediately asked the carriage, the the person who is driving the carriage, to stop. so as soon as she asked the uh, driver to stop the carriage she got down and she went into the house who went into the house the queen went into the house right it's a kingdom which is ruled by a king and she had a queen okay the, uh, her the king's wife is a queen and she went into the house and she demanded she like you no know, she wanted to know the reason why she is beating the girl and because because she was beating the girl in such a way that her cries were like they were, they were coming out so what, how the way the girl was crying everybody was able to hear so she was crying very very loudly so the queen who was going on the road like on that very way she heard the cries she stopped the carriage she got down she got in the house and then she demanded the woman to tell the reason why she is beating the girl and when the queen herself came into the house and asked the like you know the woman about that the woman felt ashamed to talk about the doctor's laziness so now here the woman you know the reason why because she was very very lazy and she was beating for that reason now she can't tell the same reason to the queen because she was very ashamed so she really felt it as a disgraceful thing she really uh, had a guilt of speaking about her daughter's laziness so she, she can't say okay you know queen my daughter is very lazy okay she did not tell that so she really felt ashamed to tell that and then she lied she did not say the right actual reason but she what she did she lied to her and she said that see 
my dot i cannot make her stop spinning she want to spin on and on forever you know what is the reason she said what is the reason she said you know she said that see she lied she did not tell the truth but she lied here she lied in sense see i she this girl likes to spin very much but whereas the girl doesn't like to spin and all right so now she said that this girl likes to spin in that way in such a way that she never stops at all she loves spinning very much and every time i see her she only keeps on spinning so that is the reason why i wanted her to stop the spinning and i bet her it's an absolutely a great lie she actually lied to the queen and see i am a poor lady and i cannot so much flaps now if she is uh, spinning and all what's the problem the problem is that i am very very poor woman and i cannot get the flax flax is a plant which will release the flax so that the flax can be spun into some uh, thread and all so so she cannot buy the flax see if they have the flax in their uh, home they can uh, she can spin it but now she because she is poor she cannot bring the flax so that is the reason why i am really uh, beating her so that she can stop the spinning hearing this like the queen answer what she answer we see now the best news i have heard i just love spinning i'm happiest when the wheels are humming so hearing this the queen said that you know this is the best news i have ever heard right this is a great news i have ever heard this is a beautiful news let like, you know and you know why because i love spinning she said i love spinning and you know whenever somebody is spinning the kind of sound which comes out no i really like that sound very much so what i will do is send me send your daughter with me to the palace i have enough uh, i have got enough flax so you because your daughter loves spinning and she never want to stop spinning so what you do is you send your daughter with me to my palace i'll take her to my palace because there is a lot of flax in my house there is lot of flax in my house and when if she comes to my house and all she can keep on spinning because there is lot of flax over there and uh, she can spin to her heart's content so what till her heart satisfies till she gets satisfied she can keep on spinning so there is enough flax in my house so she can directly come to my palace and mother was very happy okay mother was very much pleased and then she immediately agreed to send her daughter to the palace of the queen so the mother was quite pleased to hear this and agreed she also agreed okay and the queen took the girl with her upon arriving at the palace the queen got the girl upstairs so the queen she took the girl to her palace and when they went to the palace and all know she took her upstairs right to the first floor and there were three rooms you know there were three rooms and they were three rooms and uh, they were filled with only flags from the bottom to the top from the bottom to the top the whole com the complete house was only filled with what flags so there was a it was a finest of flags uh, and uh, now the queen said to the girl now spin this flags for me now what is it now you can you can spin this flags for me and when you finish the task if you, if there are three rooms and in three rooms there is flags and you are very good in spinning so you love spinning you will not stop spinning so no you complete this flags and all if you finish the task if you finish the task you know what happens you will have my oldest son for a husband so i will marry one of my like my eldest son to you right you will get married to my eldest son that is what she promised her girl and i don't mind because you are a poor girl no like you might have a thought that, uh, like that so i don't mind because, uh, if you are poor your tireless industry and hard work will do for dowry so whatever the hard work you are doing right whatever the hard work you are doing now to spin all these things no, that is a dowry that is the dowry i want so i don't need any extra amount so even though you are poor also you can marry my eldest son oldest son if you spin all these flags for me that is what the queen requested and the girl became very frightened she knew that she would not be able to spin all the flags even if she sat from morning to evening at the task so the girl no like no she was very frightened she was afraid she had her heart was full of fear because she know she definitely know that she cannot spin the whole flags even she sits from the morning till the evening and all no she cannot do that work so she was all alone and then she started she began to cry 
and uh, she sat there for three days. She sat there for three days without doing anything, without doing any thing, and she did not spin anything. And on the third day, what happened? The queen came to the room, and when she saw the whole uh, room and all, no, like she was absolutely surprised, and uh, she said that. Uh, she said, "Why did you, uh, why, why didn't you spin the flags?" And the girl said that, "See, I am missing my mother very, very terribly. I am really missing my mother so terribly that I did not begin uh, spinning the flags. So that is the only reason, uh, Queen. So because I am very much missing my mother, I could not spin, spin the flags." And the Queen was satisfied with the answer. Okay, now because. Uh, so this really satisfied the queen. So the queen, the queen was very much satisfied with the answer because she was missing the mother. She did not start the work. But as she left, she said to the girl, tomorrow you must begin my work. So the next moment she said that, she was about to leave the room and she turned towards the girl and said that, tomorrow you must begin my work at any cost. So now did she begin the work? Was the work done? That's all the things we are going to see in the next session. Until then, see you all. Have a great day. God bless you.